Hello travelers and welcome to another video. I'm at this uh, restaurant here guys in Prague and it is also a brewery. So you have craft beer here guys and also traditional Czech food. Piovarsky Dum Benedict. Okay. And Pivo means beer in Czech as well as in Polish guys. So I learned that in Poland when I was there. We got a lot of beers here. So we're gonna try some beer and we're gonna try some Czech food today guys. I cannot wait. It's gonna be very enjoyable I hope guys. So they have a special menu even. Homemade crackling pancake blue cheese spread fresh chives. That is 115 Czech crowns. Grilled chicken wings and barbecue marinades. I'm eyeing the goulash guys. I want to try the goulash and that is 235 Czech crowns. So it's actually around 10 euros guys. So a little bit more expensive here but I think it's gonna be good and I want to try that. There we go guys. I got my beer. I'm very happy, very excited. So I'm gonna give this a try now and everyone here guys they're having a great time. I have to say a lot of people drinking, laughing, having a great time and why not? This seems like a great place guys. Everyone happy. So I'm gonna give this a try. This is a wheat beer. Nice head on it too. Wow, and that's very interesting. It tastes lighter than actually a German wheat beer. Let me taste it again. It tastes like it almost has some fruit in it or something like that. That is really good. It's so smooth, guys. It's so, so smooth, this beer. Very nice beer. Wow, Czech beer is very amazing, guys. I was very surprised how good it is. I think it is on par with the German beer and maybe even better. I also want to say that the beer tastes very, very fresh. And the price is 59 Czech crowns, which is around $2.50 maybe. Maybe $2.75, guys. It's around 24, 25 Czech crowns for $1. So not bad for a big, delicious beer like that. The goulash is here, unbelievable. You gotta see this plate, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow guys, does that look nice or what? That looks absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to try that. Slow cooked meat here guys. Oh yeah, and that is tender. Oh my gosh guys, that is so tender. Smells fantastic, delicious beef. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, that is so tender. So delicious, wow. That is some prime cut beef there. And you got some bread to go with it. It's really soft. Mm. This bread is really soft and hot. I'm not sure what kind of bread it is, but it looks absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. That bread is so good, guys. It's so soft, so fresh. And with the sauce, wow, you can mop up all the flavor there. Absolutely perfect meal here. I'm gonna love the food here, guys. I can see in Czech Republic. Wow, what a pleasure to be here. The color of that meat is absolutely incredible. You know, this is absolutely fantastic meat. Wow, that is some fine, fine meat there, guys. Absolutely incredible meat. The color inside, it looks almost like a filet mignon, guys. It is absolutely incredible, cooked to perfection. So, so delicious. You've got these little tiny peppers, guys. I'm not sure what they are. Are they spicy? What are they? I gotta try one. Look at that, here we go. Wow, very juicy, guys. And a little bit spicy. That is strange though for that little tiny pepper. Yeah, it's got some spice in it. A little spicy, not too spicy. Very juicy inside. It burst open when I bit into it. But I guess it's to flavor the the goulash, guys, and it's very good as well. There's a little bit of red onion in there, and it doesn't really taste like it was that well cooked, so I think they added it after, and it gives it a little bit of crispness. It gives it a little bit of bite. And yeah, it's probably good for these very cold weather, guys. I can really feel that onion taste, so nice with the goulash. It's not overly spicy, guys. It does have spice in it, but it's not overly spicy, so you can definitely taste that meat, and that meat is absolutely fantastic, guys. I think this is one of the best meats I've ever had. It is so delicate so tender 
and better than Spanish meat and better than American meat, guys. Absolutely incredible meat here in Czech Republic. Yeah, green pepper, I cut it, guys, with the meat. So I'm gonna try it together with the meat and see how it is. Nice. That one tastes like a green pepper, but a spicy one. Maybe between a mix like a jalapeno and a green pepper. Love the addition of the bread because it's so filling and it mops up all that flavor. Because there is meat here, guys. There is a good amount of meat, but I think on its own it wouldn't be enough to fill me up. But with the bread, it's just perfect and this bread is so good. It's so soft. Mm. It's a soft spongy delicious bread designed to soak up all that flavor brilliant it's just brilliant i just finished my meal guys it was incredible absolutely incredible i enjoyed every last bite of that every bite was so delicious savory the bread was perfect to soak up all that flavor absolutely incredible meal here guys i loved it So this is the restaurant here. It's uh, Pivovarsky Dom. Yes, Pivovarsky Dom. It's Pivovarsky Dom here in Prague, guys. I really enjoyed it. Excellent restaurant. I highly recommend it if you are here in Prague. So see you in the next video. A travel addict, a guy. Take care, everyone.